Welcome to the channel everyone, and today we ask, does restoration help an atomic tank? I mean, it would seem obvious, but some think it doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and do a test run with a base tank, test run with a tank that specs out with dominance and HP, but then those little leftover skill points when you're specking out on the trees, right? We're going to put those into power that second time we go around, right? But for the third time, those little skill points that are left over, we're going to go ahead and concentrate on crit heal magnitudes, crit heal chances, and resto to see if it really makes a difference in the end. I think you're going to be surprised by the results. All right, so uh, first off, you should know that I got three power points specced out basically put one into ir irradiate another one into proton remedy and a third into the iconic power intimidating gaze and I'm gonna go ahead and pop proton remedy here with the base tank as you saw no skill points at all used First Proton Remedy healed us for 10,701 with two crits. Let's see what the second one does. Ten thousand eight hundred and fourteen with two crits. Getting steady numbers, which is good. Ten thousand on that last one. We're gonna do three runs with uh, each build of the tank. This is gonna be our base tank, which in any what would you call it? Any type of experiment or test like this, you want to have a control. So this is gonna be our control, right? And now we're gonna spec out for for dominance in all the trees that have it in the first row. That's what we're gonna do first with all our all of our skill points. So you're gonna see me searching here for all the trees that have dominance in that first row. Make sure we don't skip anything. After that, we're gonna go ahead and you know, open up the trees that have dominance in that second row. Keep going. As you can see, all the skill points that are left over, I'm putting them in power. But I am specking into the priorities as a tank, you know, I'm specking into Dom, Defense, Health, then those leftover skill points so that I can open up the third tier, uh, which, which would be the Weapon Mastery, uh, below the Weapon Mastery. You'd have to go ahead and spend the skill points there to do that. You don't have to spend the skill point up top for the Weapon Mastery, but, you know, the leftover skill points, we're going to go ahead and put them into power. That's the main point of this build. I mean, you can put them into might or whatnot, but, you know, for the purpose of this, I want to go ahead and put them into power so that we know that our numbers are not uh, getting skewed as far as the heals go. Uh, I think dual, piece, dual pistols here is uh, one of the last ones with dominance in the, in the second row. Make sure we get that dominance in the third row. You can open up rifle. Don't don't spec out like this, guys. After this uh, video comes out, I'm gonna go ahead and do another one on how I spec out for my my tanky ass tank build. I'm gonna do it a little slower. Show you the powers, the skill points, all that. My last one, I had a few complaints that it was too fast and whatnot, so I'll slow it down for y'all. What next? Alright, so we're going to spend those last little skill points. Check out our dominance. 4,802. And our restoration with this build is 6,021. Here we go. Let's go ahead and check out the heals this, this go around. By the way, quick little tip. When you're specking out, spec out the skill points uh, quickly. Just press enter. 
I mean the space bar on the keyboard and uh, that'll equal enter all right so let's first go around spec'd out 220 skill points we got 11,806 with one crit a little better than the first round which was in the 10 Ks all right second test we got 11,841 two crits Again, keeping a little baseline there. Numbers aren't jumping around too much. And here for the third trial, see how much we gain here. So we gained off, off that Proton Remedy 12,308 with three crits. Those are the stats right there. And let's go ahead and spec this time for restoration we're gonna go ahead and bump that number up to the max while prioritizing Dom health and defense first but as I said before with the skill points that are left over you can go ahead and uh, expect it to restoration and crit heals now go into the iconic powers and get the crit, crit heal magnitude percentage and the crit heal chance percentage why? Because with the spec out, with the loadout that I'm going to show you in the next video, you'll realize that uh, you'll have enough power points left over to go ahead and spec into that. And as you see now, we're going to go ahead and do it a little differently than we did the last time. We're just going to go ahead and run through the trees since we know what we got to open and where the dominance is at. But as you can tell, I'm going to go ahead and end up with the same dominance, which is 4,806 for the third trial run anyways but you can check out this the way I spec here and basically tell that all the leftover points I'm putting into crit heals and restoration and I have this feeling I just I just got this feeling it's gonna make a difference check out some of my numbers here alright we're almost done specking here and as I said stay tuned for the next video I'm going to go ahead and just break down how I spec out for the atomic tanks. The tanky tank build. And then we'll do the hybrid. Which is fucking badass. You're going to notice once I get to the end of my skill points, right? I'm going to go ahead and get a restoration in the bottom tier to just boost it up as much as I can. So that I can have a difference. And you'll notice it's, it's only a 5... 502 point difference in the restoration that I'll end up with. I think this Hank's build is of like 6,501 restoration and 4,802 DOM, which is DOM wise, it's the same as the last one. So let's go ahead and see the numbers off them heels. Right away, we're in the 400s with 700 crits. 941 crit 14,528 heal with 5 crits so awesome numbers right there I guess the resto does make a difference huh let's go ahead and try that again make sure uh, this isn't a fluke oh did we just get 7 crits 15k in heals yes sir let's try that a third time Let's, let's go humble with this one. Let's just go humble with this one and show them that even going humble, the difference is there. How much, Jade? How much are we healing off that Proton Remedy? Look at that. 13, 175. Come on down. Two crits. Dom HP, Defense, and Resto Tank. There's your stats right there. 14 total crits. What more do you want, guys? What more do you want? There's the proof. The proof is in the pudding. Math, numbers, all that shit for you. Come on now. Spec the right way. You don't need power. That's what you got to troll for in your group. I know some of you would argue, well, why are you healing yourself more? You got to heal in the group too. <laughs> Who tends to go down most in groups? Yeah, that healer. <laughs> so, trust me. I tank a lot, I tank a lot of the raids, I've been tanking for a long time, this is my main tune, you know, 
Atomic Tanking Restoration Works. PvP, PvE, use it. Abuse it. Kick people's ass with it. Gain some life. So, thanks for watching. Share this video. Share this knowledge. Share this knowledge with your friends so that, you know, they spec out correctly. I want to thank you for watching and come back for more. Subscribe, rate, comment. Do what you got to do, yo. Take it easy. Bye.